Hello gamers and welcome to Marcelian Online. In today's video we will be taking a look at 9 tips we think you should know about tanking. Keep in mind guys that these are not the only tips about tanking, this is what works for us. And without further ado, let's check out the top 9 tips about tanking. Number 1 be the protector that means hold the aggro now what you will be doing as a tank you will be getting hit in the face a lot and you want to be the one that's getting hit and not your party so keep that in mind it's very important that your guys stay alive number two position the fights properly now this comes under both the boss fights and the trash mob fights that is you'll need to position the fights so that people don't have to stay in the fire to deal the damage to the boss or the ads and so that your teammates can actually AOE DPS all of the targets efficiently. This will increase your team's damage, this will increase their survivability and it will gain better results. Number 3. You need to have party awareness. Now have you ever found yourself in a situation where you just die really quick after you pulled? Well, that could mean that your healer actually ran out of mana from the last fight and didn't have time to drink up. You need to be aware of your healer's mana and more so you need to be aware of your entire party altogether. That means you need to position the boss with the back to the party so that your DPSers can deal the most damage and that the boss's AoE frontal attacks do not cleave onto your DPS. Some bosses do that. Number 4. Mitigate the damage. Now we talked about holding aggro, you need to take the damage to the face but you don't have to take all of it, you need to reduce the amount of damage that you take because this will take less strain off of the healer and you won't die which is actually very important. That means you need to be aware of the type of damage that you're going to be taking, magic damage or physical damage and use the appropriate mitigation. Do not prioritize dealing extra damage over decreasing the damage that you actually take, that is your role, you are not a DPS. Number 5. Cooldowns. Now we talked about holding aggro and eating all the damage to the face. You will be eating a lot of damage and that's why you want to mitigate that damage so you don't die or at least you don't want your healer to run out of mana in 5 seconds. Use your cooldowns appropriately because you have two main types of cooldowns. You have proactive cooldowns and reactive. Proactive cooldowns such as shield wall will prevent a high amount of damage from being dealt to your face. Reactive cooldowns such as frenzied regeneration will deal with a situation where you already took a high amount of damage, helping your healers better stabilize the fight. Number 6. Crowd control. Now every class has its own crowd control and you're no exception. You need to understand that you might have stuns such as shockwave or you might have interrupts, every tank has those interrupts and you could even have stampeding roar, an AOE speed buff to your party. Be mindful of when you use your crowd control and be most effective to increase the damage that your team does and your healer will keep you alive better as well. Number 7. Pick your target appropriately. Now, this doesn't really apply to the boss because, well, we all know you have to have the boss as your target. But there will be situations where you have to pull a trash pack. But there's one particular mob in that trash pack that's a bigger threat to your party than anything else. You need to make sure that that mob is focused down because even though you are a tank and your main focus is not to deal damage, you do have a lot of damage yourself, you do have crowd control, and you want to make sure that that priority target is being locked down. Number 8. Line of sight. Now, this is a vast topic that we can talk about, but what the tank mostly needs to be aware of is that certain casters have range abilities. Now, in order to be able to handle those range abilities the most efficient way possible is to use line of sight. You can pull a trash pack, hide behind a wall, and that will force the range attackers to come closer to you in melee range, ideally. And that way your DPSers can AOE them down really quickly. Number 9. Know your strengths and weaknesses. 
you will be tempted to take a lot of aggro, pull one extra trash pack to speed up that mythic plus, or you might want to pull all of the adds and the raid boss all together and tank everybody yourself. You might not be able to do that. Every tank has its own strengths and its own weaknesses. Play to your strengths and avoid your weaknesses to have the most efficiency. Brewmasters, for instance, can take incredibly amounts of physical damage in bursts because of their stagger, while as Death Knights can tank a lot of mobs at one time because of their insane sustain that can deal through most situations. Thank you for watching our video, and if you think we missed something, hit us up in the comment section below and tell us what you think are the best things to know about tanking. If you liked the video, please hit us with a thumbs up, that helps us a lot, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified about our weekly videos when it comes to WoW and other Blizzard games. And also, there will be individual guides for each class in particular on our channel, so keep an eye open. Take care guys, peace! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to also check us out on twitch.tv slash Online. You just hit that follow button and you'll be notified whenever we stream. We stream every day of the week from 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 9 p.m. Central European Summer Time. See you there!